Hi everyone, last Epoch releases today and together with the Maxwell team I want to bring you a bunch of build guides. Here's a quick overview of four builds created by our Maxwell creators. They have been working on this, they have refined them, they have written entire pages and pages of uh, you know information about how these builds work that you can see here. I have them linked all in the description. So today I want to showcase four builds. One is the Bleed Warlock by Lizard. The other one is the Frostbite Swarmblade by Bina. Then we have the Spark Charge Rune Master by McFluffin. And finally, the Skeletal Roid Mage Necromancer by Vision GL. So this is what you can expect here. These builds are made by the Maxwell team here. So I've already showcased some other builds as well. I've been uh, working with these guys on a bunch of things. I, they have taught me a lot. And uh, they're all going to be blasting this last epoch release. And they are like last epoch mains compared to me. So I was want to give them some exposure. I want to give them a shout out for the amazing work they have done on the uh, Maxwell page here in the last weeks, especially. So make sure you also uh, drop them a follow and show them some love. So let's get into those builds. Let's start with the Bleed Warlock. This is the one that you just saw here at the intro. This is a build made by Lizard IRL and it rolls around being at the low life and proccing tons and tons of bleed on enemies. So you spam Chaos Balls that can trigger various effects at once and you have a few more skills on your bar that uh, can amplify your damage output by increasing the damage taken on enemies or just increasing your dot damage in general. So you basically run through those monoliths and you spam these Chaos Balls, proccing tons and tons of bleeds you can see here. Uh, there are 42 bleed stacks that you can do with like, you know, two hits or something like that. Uh, so in the late game, this build really pops off and you are also a tank. As you can see here, this build is running right now with 19,000 ward permanently. Uh, thanks to like the low life uh, ward gain effects, there are some uniques, like for example, the Exsanguinous Chest that um, this uh, build runs that um, allow you to transform your health into ward. And the lower health you are, the more ward you gain. Uh, there's also uh, this pair of boots that does the same thing. And those are some very important uniques that you're looking for in order to scale up your defense in this build. But overall, this is a very powerful, very tanky, fun to play build where you have both good AOE clear and you can also melt bosses thanks to these extra uh, curses like the Spirit Plague and the Chthonic Fissure that just ramp up your damage. So you have both just like the one button clear and then you press a few extra buttons when you fight a big target and they will start melting with, uh, in some cases, like dozens or hundreds of thousands of DPS. Next up, we have the Frostbite Swarm Blade by Bina QC. In this setup, you literally fly around the map as a druid, transform into the Swarm Blade form, which looks badass, and you freeze everything that you touch with lots of extra freeze rate multiplier, and you deal damage with those uh, tornadoes and the uh, orbs that it spawns. Those are called uh, the storm orbs. So you can see them here. They constantly proc from this tornado as you fly around. You freeze enemies and they can't even touch you. This is a really fun, fast build if you like to transform and have a melee playstyle, but actually deal damage with those uh, like tornadoes. So you're basically a walking tornado, like a flying tornado that blasts everything in its path. The boss damage is not the greatest on this setup. However, for mapping, it is excellent and super safe to play. The good part is this build doesn't even require any uniques to function, but there are obviously some that really boost it. For example, here, the Frostbite Shackles that give you this insane amount of Frostbite and Freeze Rate Multiplier. So like this, you can really just like basically instantly freeze everything you touch. And there is also these um, uh, snow drift braces here with more frostbite synergies. But in a grand scheme of things, you scale up, especially your attack speed, and then try to proc these frostbites as much as possible in order to decimate everything. So if you're playing a druid, this is a really nice build. Next up, we have Mech Fluffin's Spark Charge Rune Master. This is a build with very easy resource management, which uses a skill called Mana Strike that is usually a melee attack, but can be transformed into a ranged attack and like this, you can trigger Spark Charge, which is the main source of this build's damage. So you just run around, you have tons of defense, there's uh, extra defensive skills. And again, this is uh, also a low life build in late game with the extra uh, war generation that I've already described in the Warlock Guide with Exsanguinous and this ward gained based on the missing life. And like this, you are a defensive powerhouse 
and you constantly also like push enemies away with the knockback that the build has. So it is a super safe, relatively easy build to play and really pops off in a late game. The boss damage is not the greatest, but the clear is really good and you have great mobility, fairly easy to play and you just kind of blast through the maps and you bully those bosses. <laughs> so it actually looks very hilarious when you look at this here. So you can literally just like push the bosses around and they can't really do anything to you. So if you like doing these kind of like funky things like that, well, this might be the right build for you. The build itself doesn't really require anything to function, but we have the full setup here. And as I mentioned, we have this low life setup in the late game. So this is what you're aiming for. It's these uh, um, last steps of the living boots and the exsanguinous for the low life ward setup together with this uh, experimental mod here. So like this, you have tons of ward. You have a, bu a bunch of ward retention that you stack. And uh, well, the rest is just like stack up a lot of uh, spell crit spell damage and like this the spark charge can really pop off and last but not least we have vision gl's roid mage necromancer this is a build that he has been working on for a long time over the years he has refined this build it's not a new one but it is also something for the minion enjoyers in particular this build revolves around summoning one mega beefed up skeletal mage and it just decimates everything as you run through the map you see here it shoots these like ice projectiles uh, constantly just destroying everything as you run and there are several ways in this setup to also like actively buff up your minion but you don't really do any damage yourself so this is another true minion build that you can play that is actually pretty powerful and uh, again you can go for the similar like low life tech that i explained in other setups but it's not really required in fact you can also scale up your minions damage for example by stacking extra mana there is like um this node here uh, where uh, your minion gets extra spell damage based on your mana and again there are like some ways in the setup to actually actively buff you have decent mobility there is the transport in the setup so you don't just walk around you can also teleport and like this you have like a really nice um play style that's actually it's like really chill to play where your pet does everything the ai can be a bit wonky sometimes but you can play around that and with the high power of the build it's not really a problem and that also wraps up this build overview video here i have them all linked down in the description as i mentioned those are made by you know some of the most prolific players here with our max roll team so i'm very thankful for the opportunity to show off their builds uh, make sure you show them some love especially if you play any of their builds you know go check them out on their streams on their youtube channels and uh, you can also ask any kind of questions there so otherwise i hope that everyone likes this video i hope you have a good time in the last epoch 1.0 i'm gonna be blasting so stay tuned for a lot of hardcore racing uh, i'm really looking forward to that so that's it and i'll see you guys next time